South Australia Police. Uh, with the long weekend coming up, Easter long weekend coming up, what we're asking South Australians to do is to please be safe on our roads. Uh, we know that this year, unfortunately, we've lost 32 lives on our roads compared to uh, 30 at the same time last year. When you look at the Easter periods for the last five years, we've lost six lives on our roads compared to uh, over for those five those five years. So look, the message is very clear. Um, this in the past has been a, quite a dangerous weekend on our roads, but every life lost on our roads is avoidable and it is preventable. We're asking South Australians to please do the right thing. We don't have to see this carnage on our roads. Uh, we're asking people to please do the right thing. Uh, we know that distraction has been the biggest killer uh, on our roads uh, over the Easter long weekend the last five years. It's incumbent upon all of us here in South Australia when we are on the roads this Easter long weekend, please do the right thing. Please stay safe. You don't need to be checking your mobile phone when you're in the car. You don't have to be checking on the kids uh, on the back seat when you're driving. If you are driving, especially in our regional areas, please do just that, just drive. Uh, we know here in South Australia, there's been a, a number of campaigns that have been launched in recent months. You've seen some of the hard hitting campaigns that are out there. I wanna thank uh, the overwhelming majority of South Australians for doing the right thing on our roads. But unfortunately, for some people, the message just isn't getting through. So to those people I say, pull your heads in. Enough is enough. We don't have to see this carnage on our roads. We've lost 32 lives this year on our roads. These are mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and friends. Let's make sure that we do the right thing on our roads this Easter long weekend. Let's make sure that we stay safe. Let's make sure that we survive the drive. I'm gonna hand over to Ian Parrott. Thanks, Minister. Yeah, as the Minister said, uh, 32 lives lost in our road this year is 32 too many. Uh, additionally, there's been a number of uh, serious injury crashes and serious injuries where people have been hospitalised. I've said in recent uh, media releases that um, the anniversary of uh, a fatal crash on our road is something that stays with the family, as is uh, a serious injury. So the Easter long weekend, this weekend, is a stark reminder for 54 families over the last few years who have either lost a loved one uh, on our roads or for 48 people have had a loved one seriously injured and hospitalised, oftentimes with lifelong injuries which require care, which require ongoing medical treatment and have an everlasting impact on, on those families. Uh, this weekend's looking like being uh, an absolute uh, awesome weekend in terms of weather. Um, we anticipate that people will be travelling to the regions in droves, um, and so you should. It's a great weekend to enjoy. Police will be out in force uh, right across the regional areas uh, in particular uh, to make sure that people are safe uh, on our roads travelling to their holiday locations. We'll also be there to enforce the law and make sure that those that aren't doing the right thing are held accountable for their actions. The main message uh, that we have uh, for this Easter is just let's, in relation to the lives lost, let's make it stop here. Let's not have a repeat of the last five years where we've seen six lives lost on South Australian roads over the Easter break and 48 people hospitalised with serious injuries. One of the main contributing factors in a general sense is that people take risks when they're on the roads and they do that for a number of reasons. If you're running late, um, then you are more likely to uh, feel like you need to overtake in circumstances where it's not safe. You are more likely to not have your rest break every two hours because you want to arrive at your destination on time. Please, in these circumstances, make sure that you actually do the right thing by you and your family and loved ones and drive safely um, so that you don't take unnecessary risks and potentially put your life, your loved one's lives, or those of an innocent road user also trying to just enjoy the Easter weekend at risk. Uh, importantly as well, on the long weekends, what we have seen is that a large number of people go to national parks or um, private property uh, to enjoy family time um, and to get away and relax for the weekend. The road rules, the fatal five, apply in those circumstances equally as to what they do on our, um, on our main roads. We've seen lives lost, including this year, where seatbelts haven't been worn, where people have been speeding, 
uh, some cases where alcohol or other drugs whilst driving have been involved as well, on private property. The same rules apply on private property as they do on the road. If you are in a vehicle, make sure that you drive to the limits, you drive to the conditions of the area that you are in. If you're in a car, make sure you wear your seatbelt and certainly don't drink or drug drive. And for those uh, uh, motorcyclists who might be wanting to enjoy the warm weather in the hills or uh, on our coastlines, please um, ride within your own capabilities. Uh, please pay attention to the other uh, uh, motorcyclists that may be in the area and make sure that you and everybody else is safe on this weekend. Does the last long weekend, last month, was pretty disastrous. Does that heighten the sense of concern heading into to this one? I think um, the last month, so um, the March long weekend, was uh, the worst in a decade. So we certainly don't want to repeat of that. We don't want the Easter weekend to be the worst in a decade. What we're hoping is, is that through all of um, the media attention that we've had, um, that people actually really reflect on the lives lost. Now these, we talk about numbers uh, when we come to these press conferences. These are people. Now these are people who have lost their life, who are no longer around, they're no longer with us. These are families that have lost a loved one. It's not just a number. So the last thing we want is a, is a repeat of um, the March long weekend this weekend. Um, what we would like to see is what happened in 2017, which was a fatality-free weekend on the Eastern Long Weekend. We've also seen, uh, what well, just seems to be the last few weeks, a lot of high-range um, speeding and drink driving. Is that a real worry? Uh, last night there was some people in the burnouts and just silly behaviour on the road. Is that a real concern? Yeah, absolutely, it's a real concern. These people have obviously no regard for themselves, uh, anybody else in their vehicle or other road users. Um, for those that got caught, they're lucky. They are really lucky they got caught uh, because the outcomes for them could have been a lot worse. They could have ended up in hospital. They could have ended up um, uh, dead. They could have ended up um, facing a court date and potential jail sentences for killing somebody else. So the fact that these people have got caught is excellent and great work by our police. The fact that they're taking these risks is outrageous. Um, people who exceed, you know, speed excessively, people who drink and drive, it just beggars belief. And I think that uh, you know, one of the most recent examples of a, a female driver in Neil Doddy at you know, seven times the legal limit, 0.35, uh, as a parent, uh, that's bad enough, but let alone as a parent with two kids in the car, is absolutely unforgivable. Um, we just, that is just something that should not happen these days. And do you guys really ramp up the amount of resources you've got across the state for these four days? Yeah, we do. Uh, we, not unsurprisingly, um, we put um, a lot of effort into making sure that the main arterial roads and, and regional roads uh, have a very strong policing focus. Uh, we coordinate the central uh, traffic related and road safety related police uh, resources with our regional policing efforts as well. So that uh, you have every chance if you're doing something wrong in the roads or taking too many risks this Easter, you will be caught. Yeah. Can I ask you, sure. about the um, high range drink driving and speeding I've seen in the last few weeks. Is that a real, um, real concern for you? Yeah, absolutely. This is very, very concerning behaviour. Uh, these people that are out here conducting these acts are absolutely reckless, uh, dangerous and stupid. Uh, and we as a state government will be continuing uh, to look at a suite of measures that we can uh, work together with SAPOL on delivering to deter this sort of behaviour into the future. How is that, I guess, legislation side of things progressing? Sure. So we saw um, uh, uh, cause death while dangerous driving legislation passed the parliament recently, which is uh, uh, which is unfortunate that we need that legislation, but it has passed the parliament, um, and I'm, I'm pleased that that has done so. Uh, in regards to uh, excessive speed, high speed, uh, we're certainly hoping to be bringing new legislation before the parliament after working with SAPOL and also the Department of Transport, and we hope that that will uh, surface later this year. And just on a much, much lighter note, um, we saw three new recruits in Safe Bob this morning with the uh, <laughs> Sausage Dogs joining the team. Can I just ask it on a, a wider note what you make of, um, of that? Um, very, very pleased for the Sausage Dogs. I've got to say, though, my uh, Labradoodle was absolutely devastated that he missed the cut. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think that um, uh, the, the risk of losing double demerit points would deter drivers? from dangerous behaviour? Like why don't we ever... It's certainly something that we do look at from time to time and we're happy to review that down the track. 
uh, the fact is this, uh, it's incumbent upon every single person to do the right thing on our roads. Uh, you can have jail time, you can have loss of license, uh, you can have a range of other uh, measures to deter people. At the end of the day, uh, for some of these reckless, dangerous idiots out there, the message is not getting through. To those people, I say, pull your heads in, uh, but we certainly uh, look at uh, any other measures that uh, that may uh, deter people from this sort of behaviour. Good, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Oh, thank you.